everybody and welcome back to another Cars Fast as Lightning Gaming video and no this is not the casual series this is my series and just fiddling around with the screen that was that was my brother's idea because that's what he does at the beginning of all of his videos if I put up the playlist to the casual series you'll understand why he does that update I've got now got Fillmore's tasting which is nice and here's another big thing. I got another gem character. I got Komodo. I was torn on whether to get this or him was tasting first. So I got Komodo first. Obviously, I, I've got Miguel now. And I've also got Carla Veloso. Now we can get fuel from Fillmore. And I just do want to clarify, I do do the glitch as well. I just, I was actually the one who did the glitch before he, him did it. He did it. So, yeah. If we head to the garage, currently upgrading Carla. As you can see, in her second phase of upgrade, also every single character leading up to Miguel has paint jobs. That's excluding Miguel. To be honest, I do really want Boost's Neon Paint Job. I prefer that over this Calm and Collected, but Calm and Collected will do for now. Because, you know, it's a paint job. As for Miguel, I haven't got a single piece to most of them. Here, one for that, two for that, and absolutely none for that. Also, for some reason, whenever I just spam the button or just touch it, he reacts. It's not just Miguel in this situation. Carla is just as bad. I don't get why they have a ridiculous hitbox when that paint job's activated. It's pretty much going to be the same for everybody, I think. But, Sa but Sheriff is also a culprit of that, as every single time I touch his buttons, he goes on a big fat hissy fit, and there's Komodo. I got his mecha mode one. I've not started his championship yet, but I will as soon as I can. Currently saving up for I don't know what yet. Probably the expansion. Speaking of that, I also have the car wash. I just forgot to show it. Now let's go and do some races. Let's head over to Miguel's track. And I'm going to show off Komodo against... Who should I race him against? Tomarcus? Nah, that seems too easy. Obviously, mate is too extreme. Luigi will do. Let's go. Let's get underway in 3, 2, 1. Obviously, we get the boost. For some reason, there's neon trails behind him, despite this is not the neon paint job. Probably something with the game. I don't think it's the game's fault. I think it's just generally something with the paint job. Is this secretly neon with a different coat of paint on it? Something tells me it's that. And I just want to clarify as I'm talking, all of the bits of me talking have been recorded after I've done the what's it called gameplay because otherwise if I dare to do it during the gameplay it would just sound awful and I mean awful if you want to know why check out the first episode of Cars Casual that was absolutely awful audio duplicate not too surprised there But yeah, that's technically the series, and I might as well just do a race with Miguel. Let's go. Oh, Chick Hicks messed that up. Let's actually race him. Chef messed up with Polash Speedway. Let's see him go around the pretzel loop and see if I can... There we go. Right. Let's go. Right, here we go in three, two, one. Boost. Let's go. I also just want to clarify with Miguel that sometimes he's way too quiet. Sometimes I can't even hear him. And here I messed it up with the tractor, and here comes something ridiculous. 
I hit the wall despite the fact I was nowhere near the wall and I got the boost. I blame Chick Hicks. He slammed me into the wall. Deliberate sabotage. Send him off the racetrack. Send him off right now. I'm just kidding. That was probably my own fault. Just, just because I was stupid. Anyways, over the loop-de-loop. -loop. And this time, not trip over the tractor. Pretty much just an easy race. He didn't really pose much of a threat. And I win yet again. And I got a piece for the Spanish flag. Maybe I should start crashing more often. Maybe that'll get me a paint job in the future. <laughs> but anyways, let's actually head over to Boost Track. Let me just quickly collect my coins, because, you know, that's what I like. Collecting coins is what I do in my spare time. Boost. I'm going to show his track, his and Carlos track off, and let's have him racing Snot Rod. Let's go. I'm ready. And so it's not Rod. Bada bing, bada boop, I get the boost. Around the corner. Over the all patch. Lots of perfect turns, because, you know, that's what I do. I normally get perfect turns on these races. And during this race, I actually messed up a stunt. That was just because... Alongside this episode, we were recording Cars Casual at the same time. Something funny happened and that caused me to get distracted and trip over. I almost lost the race because of that. And it was something actually kind of funny. You'll see when the episode 4 gets published. Thankfully, Snot Rod messed up the torque corners. And I ended up winning the race. And again, one piece away. And let's race again. Against Mater. Because why the hell not? Just skip that because I actually got tired of seeing that thing over and over again. Again, the boost again. I always get the boost. As we speed along. This race was a lot more laid back rather than Snot Rods. Mater didn't really pose that much of a threat during the race. Not like, not really too much. True, he caught up here, but aside from that, he didn't really pose much of a threat. Just yeet myself over there, and this time, not. And I, this time, I did not mess up the stunt. Yoink. Around the corners. Wave hello to the fans. Charge. And the max combo is 24 on this track, as I learned. And across the finish line I go. And lo and behold, I finally got Neon. Let's go. And so now we head back to town. Collect our coins. Wake the hippie up. And basically... Put on Boost's Neon paint job because I prefer the Neon over Calm and Collected. I stated that at the beginning. I'm just saying it just in case I might have forgotten. If I actually did say it at the beginning. Plus, it gives more bonus XP from Trick. Not Tricks. X. Not. What am I saying at this point? Tricks! There you go. Right. Carla. I've not done any of her begin championship ones just because. Saving that for a video, and let's do a round of Catch Me Coppers with Sheriff. Let's go. Again, just skip that, because, to be honest, I was getting tired of seeing that. And off we go. Brum, brum. Zoom around these corners, because, you know, that's what I like to do. I have a French just going on this track, don't ask me why. Imagine if that was like a balloon for every single World Grand Prix racer. My Miguel track would be full of those. To be honest, I'm actually just going to do that on Francesco's track when I get him. Forget the fans. Just fill his track up with balloons of himself. Make it look like he's in love with himself. Kind of... How do I put this? Weird in a way. Sounds weird in a way. 
Whoopsie whoops. Have some Rusty's tents around. I just have those Rusty's tents just because, you know, Rusty's is cool. Yawn. I like it. Let's go to the next track. Not track race. Against. Let's do Snot Rod against Boost again on this track. Let's go. Skip. Go. We both get the boost. Wave hi to the fans, and that is the most stupid crash I've ever come across in this game. That was not even a bloody wall. Come on, man. Totally not cool. Besides from that, again, just easy W. Eat myself over the pond. Jump over the tractor, because the tractors actually matter. They actually slow you down, unlike the fans and fuel, which are just a distraction to make you lose your combo. And let the rival just go. Surprise, more of a... You get the picture. Snowrod did catch up in a stupid way. He just tried to overtake me. But thankfully, I was the faster car and beat him on the line. And again, Carla's paint job again. I should just crash in every single race from now on. Unless it's Sarge's challenges. They'll give me more paint jobs. But aside from that, that's really going to wrap it up for this episode. There's really not much to do around here. So if I quickly collect my coins, I'm going to call it a day. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. And may the hippie sign us out. See you dudes in the next one.